President Ilham Liva and First Lady Mehdi Ban Aliva arrived at Baku Expo Center to participate at the opening of 24th International Caspian Oil and Gas Exhibition and Conference 2017, as well as the 7th Caspian International Power and Alternative Energy Exhibition. About 300 companies from 30 countries partake in the exhibition organized by Iteki Caspian, an ITE group with the support of the Minister of Energy and the State Oil Company. Among them, there are companies from the USA, Belarus, Belgium, Spain, Italy, Kazakhstan, China, the Netherlands, Poland, Japan and other countries. 15% of the companies participate at the exhibitions for the first time. Addressing the opening of the exhibition and conference, the special consultant of IT Group, PLC Andrew Wood, noted that the exhibition and conference held for the 24th time is a significant event. Spoke about the positive impact of the event on the oil and gas sector and in general on the economy of Azerbaijan. On the lining that all this became possible thanks to the initiatives of the head of state, Andrew Wood said that the number of participating countries increase every year. Speaking at the ceremony, President Ilham Aliyev also called the organization of the exhibition in Azerbaijan a significant event and noted that interest towards the exhibition constantly grows. The head of state said the exhibition advocates Azerbaijan and the world as a country with huge potential, noted that over the past years an excellent form of cooperation with foreign investors was formed in the country. President Ilham Aliyev also added that on the basis of new historical documents, it was once again proved that the first industrial extraction of oil was carried out in 1846 in Bibi Azerbaijan is also the first in the world for oil production at sea. He accentuated the role of Azerbaijan oil in the victory over fascism. Informing that in the 70s, a significant progress was made in the oil industry under the leadership of the nationwide leader Hadro Leaf, but in the difficult early years of independence the industry was in stagnation, the head of state stated that after the nationwide leader Hadro Leaf's return to power, a new oil strategy started in the country, new prospects opened in the oil and gas sector. President Ilham Aliyev outlined that the contract of the century signed in those years became the foundation of subsequent successes. He stressed that it was the contract of the century that created the conditions for new achievements in the country, and Azerbaijan began to develop intensively through the implementation of social projects. Referring to the oil and gas projects implemented by Azerbaijan, President Ilham Aliyev stressed the importance of the Shah Tennis project, noted that the country with proven gas reserves of 2.6 trillion cubic meters fully ensured its energy security, pointed out that after Baku Tbilisi Jehan, Baku Tbilisi Erzurum Baku Subsa projects, another unique project, the Southern Gas Corridor project, kicked off. President Ilham Aliyev informed that the works on the project with a total value of $40 billion successfully continue, added that 93% of Shahdenis II, 83% of South Caucasus pipeline, 72% of TANAP and 42% of TAP have been completed. Azerbaijan plays an important role in the energy security and the steps being taken in the country in the field of energy diversification already yields results, the head of state said, and brought to the attention that the Southern Gas Corridor project has a historical significance for the country, added that the project will pave the way for the implementation of new projects. It's no coincidence that the extraction of oil from Absheron amid buyback fields are expected to start in the near future, and Azerbaijan has already gained importance as a transit country. At the end of his speech, President Ilham Aliyev once again wished success to the exhibition and conference. Deputy Assistant Secretary for Energy Diplomacy in the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of Energy Resources Robin Donegan read the letter of U.S. President Donald Trump addressed to the exhibition. In the letter, the American president sent his congratulations in connection with the 24-year-old the Caspian Sea Oil and Gas Exhibition and highly assessed the 25-year partnership between Azerbaijan and the United States. Noting that the U.S. strongly supports the Southern Gas Corridor project and welcomes all efforts to complete it, Donald Trump praised Azerbaijan's role in strengthening of global energy security. U.S. President stated that the U.S. is ready to work with Azerbaijan and brought to the attention that he is committed to a peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict through the efforts of Minsk Group, which will serve to strengthen the regional security. In his video address to participants, Vice President of the European Commission for Energy Union, Mara Shevchevich, noted that this event where important energy issues are discussed has transformed Azerbaijan into an important partner. He expressed full confidence that thanks to the implementation of the Sword and Gas Corridor, Azerbaijan gas will be delivered to Europe in 2020. Attaching importance to the meetings of Southern Gas Corridor Advisory Board in Baku, Maro Shevchevich underlined that this is an example of EU-Azerbaijan cooperation and wish success to the exhibition and conference. 
Then President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehdi Ban Aliyeva got acquainted with the exhibition. During the acquaintance with the soccer stand, the head of state was informed about the company's projects. It was outlined that soccer implements a number of successful social and environmental programs. President Ilham Aliyeva and First Lady Mehdi Ban Aliyeva were also informed about the training and educational programs of soccer, the activities of Pakul High Oil School, its new campus in Mibihaybat, scientific research and nanotechnologies implemented in the company. The stand of Sokar gives detailed information on oil refineries and petrochemical enterprises of Azerbaijan, oil and gas export routes as well as on investments. BP has been successfully operating in Azerbaijan in the oil and gas industry for many years. The projects in which the company participated within the framework of the partnership with the Azerbaijani government, including Azeri Chirak Güneşli, Shah Deniz, Baku Tbilisi Ceyhan and the South Caucasus Pipeline, transformed the Caspian Sea into a modern hydrocarbon region and contributed to its development. To date, BP Azerbaijan has produced 3 billion barrels of oil and gas condensate as well as 80 billion cubic meters of gas. All these successes stem from the perfect partnership established by the company in Azerbaijan and from its long-term commitments. Then President Ilham Aliyev met with the staff of BP Azerbaijan. The other state highly assessed the informative video at the stand and noted that the company maintains cooperation with Azerbaijan for 23 years. The other state stated that BP is Azerbaijan's strategic partner and today 80% of employees are local citizens. President Ilham Liev recalled that one of the conditions of Azerbaijan was the gradual increase in the number of local employees, which is a reality now. The head of state and the first lady also got acquainted with the stand of Belarusian state concern for oil and chemistry, Bel Neftekim. The enterprises of the concern are engaged in exploration, production, transportation, processing of crude oil, and the sale of oil products. The German Lieb Hair Company also parties at the exhibition. The company presents its mobile port cranes of different models, the lifting power of which varies from 42 to 308 tons. The French Total Company is one of the traditional partners of Azerbaijan. Total started work on exploration and production in Azerbaijan in 1996. In February of 2009, the company signed a production sharing agreement with Sokar. In 2011, the company drilled and found a sufficient number of hydrocarbon sources and this paved the way for a new stage of total activity in Azerbaijan. Total is the shareholder of Baku Tbilisi Jehan, which provides export opportunities in the region. ABB is the world leader in the services sector, in the electrification of the industrial transport and infrastructure sectors, in industrial automation and in advanced robot technologies. The Norwegian Statoil Company, operating in more than 30 countries, entered the Azovgena market in 1992. The company's role in planning, developing and managing large projects in the Caspian Sea was beneficial for both sides. Halliburton is one of the largest suppliers of goods and services in the energy sector. The company is engaged in exploration and management of geological data, evaluation of drilling operations and projects and well construction. It plays an important role in the oil and gas sector of the world. Viewing the Sokar Turkey stand, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehdi Ban Aliyev were informed that Sokar is one of the largest investors in Turkey. High Technologies Park of the National Academy of Sciences of Azerbaijan participates at the exhibition for the first time. This park was created in 2016 on the executive order of President Ilham Aliyev. The activities of this park are aimed at creating favorable conditions for individuals and legal entities through business and technology incubators, foundations and research centers. The Uzbek Neftegaz NHC corporations also participate at the exhibition for the first time. It's a structure that brings together more than 200 companies including 20 joint ventures, 6 giant stock companies and a number of other structures. The current structure of the holding makes it possible to effectively manage interrelated and well tied out projects covering all stages of production and technology. The Chinese Shanghai Shinkai Petroleum Company also shows great interest in the exhibition. The company is one of the state institutions of China specializing in the production of oil equipment. It is also represented at the exhibition with its own stand. Seven companies of this country presented products related to the oil and gas sector. Italian companies are actively involved in oil and gas projects implemented by Azerbaijan. Established 50 years ago, the Iranian National Gas Company is engaged in the processing, transportation, distribution and storage of natural gas in underground reservoirs. The company also carries out the procurement and sale of gas between Iran and neighboring countries.
Turkish Turkey Petroleum Company is one of the firms that carry out extensive activities in Azerbaijan since the beginning of the implementation of the contract of the century. This company is ready to continue to actively participate and invest in projects implemented in the country. In general, Turkey fully and successfully cooperates with Azerbaijan in the ongoing energy projects of the country. After getting acquainted with the exhibitions, President Ilham Aliyev signed the guest book of the 24th International Exhibition and Conference Caspian Oil and Gas 2017.